Good morning, here from the Dead Sea. This is our last day here in this area. Now we're going back up to Netanya tonight. We're gonna still enjoy the day here. I uh, got a couple things that we wanna do. We're actually gonna go to the Dead Sea, go in the water itself right now. And then after, we're gonna go to this place called Tel Arad, which has insane amounts of history. It's an ancient ruin about, I would say like an hour, 20 minutes away from where we are right now and uh, a lot closer to the actual Dead Sea, the, the beach that we're going to. So we're gonna go do those two things today. I'm not sure how we're gonna divide the, the vlogs, if we're gonna keep it all in the same one or probably uh, uh, separate them if we get a lot of content from each place. But from there, yeah, we're going back up to Natanya tonight and then um, we're going to you know, enjoy the last few days that we have here in Israel before heading out to France. So I hope you've been enjoying the journey so far. Uh, we're gonna continue the journey when we get out to France and we're gonna have a blast over there. We're gonna country hop over there as well. Going to Monaco, uh, the French Riviera. Uh, we're gonna be in a few different countries, most likely Switzerland and Italy. Uh, so we're gonna kind of be moving around when we get there as well. But we wanted it to be a little more laid back when we got there, but we're still gonna be doing our thing and you know, just uh, we look forward to having you uh, follow us along our journey. But for now, uh, stay tuned. Uh, come check out the Dead Sea along with us. And then hopefully, maybe even get Telerod all in the same vlog. So stay tuned and come join us. Today we are in the old synagogue next to the Dead Sea. We are about to go inside to see what there is. And uh, yeah, let's go. And as you can see here, there is nobody here. It's completely empty, but it will be full of people by the time it's like the afternoon. Alright, so on our way to the Dead Sea, we came, just randomly came across this ancient synagogue. We just so happened to pass by his ancient synagogue, right? What are the odds? <laughs> and uh, we just stopped over here really quick to check it out. And we saw it was empty, so we decided to go in, uh, take advantage of it. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out. Apparently it's a synagogue that's about 2,000 years old. They have, I think they have mosaic tiles. And so it's about 2,000 years old. We're gonna go in there and check it out and see what it used to, what synag ancient synagogues used to look like. So we just, we're about to enter the synagogue right now, and I see a mikveh right here. Uh, this is or a ritual bath in English, but it's a mikveh, which is like a pool, a baptism pool, as most people might know it, where they would do tevila or immerse themselves in the water like a baptism, like John the Baptist used to do according to the law of Moses, according to the Torah. This is where they would do the tevila, the immersions, the baptism. And I guess, I'm not sure if they, that's another one on the other side. But man, imagine having a synagogue or <laughs> congregating in a place here, right across from the Dead Sea, by the way, because the Dead Sea is literally right over here. The Dead Sea is across the street from here. Across the street, right here down the hill, down this mountain, is the Dead Sea. And over here you have the craziest view of the most beautiful mountains. And I mean, imagine congregating in a place where you have the Dead Sea on one side with a hell of a view there, and then another hell of a view over here. <laughs> like this, this must have been like the spot to, to come to. Like I, I would love to congregate in something like this with these kind of views. So there's Isaiah enjoying it a little too much. But you can get hurt, so be careful. For a second. <laughs> because I want to see gold yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna go check out the rest. Check out the synagogue. This is the actual synagogue right here. Right here you see the mosaics, the mosaic tiles and um, I guess that, that was like where they would have the, the, the quote unquote altar where they would speak out of. And uh, yeah, inscriptions, I don't know what inscriptions were there, but uh, I, I believe that's probably where they would read the Torah scrolls from up front. That's, Let's see if we can get inside. Wow, I don't, know. I don't think we can get inside this is all roped off. And here's another McVeigh right here. So this is where you would sit in the ancient synagogue. 
There's like Isaiah the, sitting in the synagogue. This is like the house where uh, the house where it was like a little ball and you should have got that on camera like a slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is where they worship. Yeah, this is the, the ancient synagogue where everybody would sit. You know, and here is the other side of the synagogue. And here's the exit from the synagogue. No exit. No exit. Here's the, the exit. You would go up there and I guess okay. go leave the rest of the place through there. Uh, but this used to be a village as well, apparently. A village like in Minecraft? There was a village? Yeah, I don't know about like in Minecraft, but yeah, this was a village. And this was the synagogue yes, of that village. village. You see right here the, the Hebrew inscriptions. And here comes Isaiah. It, it looks a little bit rusty. I don't think you're supposed to be on that side of the rope, so please step on this side. <laughs> and right here you see all the all the Hebrew inscriptions. Yeah, this was beautiful. And it's actually nice and fresh right now. It's not it, not even hot. The sun is hot, but it's actually nice and fresh, nice and cool. So I could imagine back then, obviously they had all of this closed off you know with a roof over and we, we are really cool right now it's not hot to us and the sun is actually pretty hot right now so i would imagine they wouldn't be here suffering of heat since this is the desert and all but they were actually pretty cool in here because it is actually pretty cool so i used to always wonder like would it be hot since they were in the desert? Would it be hot while they're in there and in, the, in their synagogues? And how would that feel? And no, I'm actually in here and it feels pretty cool right now. So, yeah, I guess that might have answered my question. And I got something to tell you guys. What? What do you have to tell us? Are you supposed to go over here to this little hole right here? No, don't do that. <laughs> And here is the ancient village. You see, you see stairs as well, as if they had like a second floor. These were homes. So I'm assuming some of these homes had two floors and cause you definitely see some stairs here and throughout. So these were probably like two story homes. Imagine that having a home right here by the Dead Sea with some crazy views all around. And then like you that. walk over like a hundred feet over and you're at the synagogue for Shabbat. This is this this is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful place. I love it.